Today, we are talking about five important characteristics of absent seizures that every parent should know. We're going to go over the definition of absent seizures, what absent seizures really are, what they look like, what treatments there are, and what ages they usually begin. Now stick around to the end of the video because the treatment options, especially the dietary ones, may surprise you, but can make a real difference. So what are absent seizures? Absent seizures are a type of generalized seizure that cause brief, sudden lapses in awareness. The child may stop what they're doing, stare blankly, and be unresponsive for a few seconds, and then resume activity like nothing happened. These seizures used to be called petit mal seizures, which is French for small illness, because they're so brief and subtle. According to the Epilepsy Foundation and the American Epilepsy Society, these seizures originate from abnormal electrical activity in both sides of the brain at once. What age do absent seizures begin? Absent seizures typically start in childhood, most commonly between the ages of 4 and 10 years old, with a peak around the age of 6. Girls are slightly more likely than boys to experience them, and there are actually two main types childhood absence epilepsy, or CAE, and juvenile absence epilepsy, or JAE. CAE begins earlier, while JAE often starts in adolescence and may be more likely to continue into adulthood. What are the physical symptoms? The hallmark symptom is a brief lapse in awareness, often lasting between 5 and 15 seconds. During this time, the child may stare blankly, stop speaking mid-sentence, blink rapidly or have slight eyelid fluttering, and they may even make small chewing or lip smacking motions. These episodes can happen dozens or even hundreds of times a day, which can significantly interfere with the learning and day-to-day -day activities, even though the seizures are not dramatic or convulsive. A teacher might first notice these during school when a child appears to be quote unquote daydreaming more than usual. So will your child ever outgrow them? In many cases, yes, especially if the child has childhood absence epilepsy, which about 60 to 70% of children with CAE will outgrow their seizures by adolescence. Juvenile absence epilepsy, on the other hand, is more likely to persist or evolve into other seizure types over time. Still, even when seizures do go away, close follow-up with a pediatric neurologist is important. Early diagnosis and treatment can improve long-term outcomes and academic progress. Now, how is absence epilepsy treated and can even a diet help? The most commonly prescribed medications for absence seizures are ethosuximide, valproic acid, and lamotrigine. Ethosuximide is usually the first choice for children with absence seizures alone as it's effective and tends to have fewer side effects. For kids who don't respond well to medications or who have other seizure types, the ketogenic diet may be an option. This high-fat, very low-carb diet shifts the body into a state of ketosis, which has been shown to reduce seizure frequency and drug-resistant epilepsy, including some absent seizures. Studies have found that up to 50% of children on the ketogenic diet experience at least a 50% reduction in seizures. Now, it's not a magic bullet, and it needs to be done under strict medical supervision, usually with a dietitian or a neurologist, but it can be a game changer for some families. And that's it for today, folks. Parents, remember to consult with your pediatric neurologist if your child is experiencing any of these conditions. Good luck.